Hey everyone, this is Glenn Tribitz from Hollywood Piano, and today I want to talk about new pianos from America's favorite piano brand, Baldwin. That's been their slogan all these years, and good reason for it. Baldwin at one time was the largest domestic producer of acoustic pianos. Uh, today they're owned by the Gibson Guitar Company, one of the largest musical instrument companies in the country, and they make their pianos, which they always made, now in their factories overseas. And they're some of the very best values on the market. Why did they go overseas? Well, the reason is very simple, it's economics. So Baldwin's pianos, if they were still made in Tennessee and Arkansas, would be about as expensive today as Steinway's because they have very similar recipe as far as materials, wood, etc. So, you know, we'd be looking at, say, a Baldwin Hamilton studio at $35,000. And they made a decision that they just couldn't compete at that level and make a piano that could be sold internationally at a fair margin. So today the value is tremendous because if that piano, say a Baldwin Hamilton, was made in the United States, it would be about $35,000 and today made overseas, it's under $7,000. So it's, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal value. 7,000 is a selling price, not the MSRP. So Baldwin has a unique history. The Baldwin Piano Company dates back to 1857 when a teacher, Dwight Hamilton Baldwin, lost his franchise as a seller of Steinway pianos and he was also at that time a Decker piano company dealer. And he decided he'd make his own pianos. And that's how the whole thing was born. And then by 1900, they were winning international awards at the Paris Grand Prix and other such major festivals. Baldwin has a long and illustrious history. And they were pressed into service in World War II to make airplane wings. And the making of those wings is what led to their famous pin block. Now, sometimes piano technicians complain about their pin block because they're so tight. But uh, the great thing about the Baldwin pin block is it holds the tuning pins better than just about any other piano. Uh, and that was developed during World War II for airplane wing technology. It later became the pin block of the piano. Some of the notable performers who have played on Baldwin's and who made Baldwin their piano were pianists like Claudio Arau, George Bellet, Morton Estrin, Earl Wilde, Jose Aturbi, I mean, composers Aaron Copeland, Philip Glass, Igor Stravinsky, Bella Bartok, Stephen Sondheim, Leonard Bernstein, John Williams, to name only a few. And then Baldwin had been used by popular entertainers who, again, identified with Baldwin as their piano. People like Ray Charles, Liberace, Richard Carpenter, Michael Feinstein, Billy Joel, Cat Stevens, Carly Simon, and jazz pianists like Dave Brubeck, George Shering, Dick Hyman, and Marion McPartland. Baldwin was the piano that you saw on Glee. It was on the David Letterman show. Baldwin was considered the premier piano for so many people, and it was second only to Steinway in its artist roster. The Baldwin line today encompasses all of the pianos that they've been famous for for all these years. So at the beginning of the line, the lowest sized piano they make is the famous Baldwin Acrosonic. Now the Baldwin Acrosonic is a small piano with a big sound. There's not a piano on the market today that's 43 inches that has the sound of the Baldwin Acrosonic. And that's why you find it in people's homes, churches, etc. I mean, this piano has been built for years.
As we move up from the acrosonic, we have the Baldwin BP-1. Now, this is an incarnation of the famous Baldwin Hamilton school piano, but in a high gloss ebony case. So it comes in the high gloss ebony case and then the traditional Hamilton styling in both ebony satin and walnut satin. Notice how long the notes sustain. You try that on other pianos, which are basically designed in Japan. You'll notice that that sound is gone in about two or three seconds. The BP-1 comes with this silver chrome edition and traditional gold. The Baldwin Hamilton is the biggest selling single model in piano history. As we move up, they have a phenomenal decorator cabinet. That's the model BP3 Rosewood with the French legs. It has a unique feature in that the lid opens both as a grand piano and as an upright piano. Now, above the BP3, we have the BP5. Now, the BP5 is the Baldwin 248. And this piano comes in a high gloss black, a high gloss rosewood, and the new BPX5 in a satin mahogany gorgeous finish. And that piano has been extraordinarily popular. One of the very cool things about BP5 on the new X model is it has the sound escapement ports. Above the BP5X, is the B252. This is the concert vertical piano, and this piano prior was the 6000. It's a phenomenal instrument, and I personally think it's the only tall upright piano on the market today from any manufacturer that sounds like a grand piano. There are many good 52-inch upright pianos, and they sound like good 52-inch upright pianos. This piano sounds like a grand piano, and you have to come in and hear it for yourself. Now, it has some unique technology in it that helps it sustain its tone longer, like the tone extender. All Baldwin upright pianos have their famous AccuJust hitch pins in the bass. These pins allow the piano to be finely adjusted even after manufacture in a way that no other piano can be adjusted. So it, it adjusts the down bearing on the bass strings, allowing for basically a perfect tone. 
And many times you hear pianos where it's a very uneven tone and the bass is inconsistent from piano to piano. With the AccuJust Hitch Pin, it allows previously impossible uniformity. And now they can all be uniform. One very unique thing about Baldwin pianos is three working pedals. The damper pedal sustains the tone. The soft pedal makes it a little bit softer by bringing the hammers closer to the string. And the center pedal on the Baldwin uprights, no other uprights on all the Baldwin uprights, when I press that, it sustains just the bass. The rest of it... So it's just bass sustain. So you have the damper pedal, which sustains the tone. You have the pedal all the way on the left, which makes the sound a little bit softer by moving the hammers either closer to the strings in an upright or hitting two of the three strings in a grand. And the center pedal in most upright pianos built today is a mute pedal. It just mutes the sound. But on a grand piano, it's something called a sustenuto pedal. And it basically sustains the bass. All Baldwin uprights have a working center pedal. And you don't find that on other brands unless you go to their most expensive models. And so you can get on a Baldwin piano for under $7,000 what you're going to have to spend $15,000 plus for on many other pianos. And on their pianos, they don't offer it on the full line. On the Baldwin, it's on every single piano. Baldwin grands range in size from 4 foot 10 all the way up to 9 feet. Uh, the 4 foot 10 Baldwin piano is probably the best mini grand on the market, bar none. It has a big sound, it has a deep sound, and it has a sound that makes you think it's a much larger piano. There's the Baldwin 152 model. That's a phenomenal instrument. It's a little bit bigger and it's got a little bit bigger sound. And then one of my favorite models in the line is the BP-165. Now this piano is only 5'5", five five, and it has string length and sounding board size bigger than any other piano in its class. I think it's a great instrument, even for people who might have been thinking about an even larger sized piano. Above that, we have the BP-178. It's a 5 foot 10 piano. It sounds like a piano which could be six feet plus. This is BP-178, five foot ten. Everything from this size and above has a slow closing lid. So watch this. Not only is it a slow closing lid, it's a lid assist for lifting. So I'm just lifting this big heavy lid with basically a couple of fingers. 
Above that, we have the 190. Now, this is the same size as the famous Baldwin L. It's six foot three inches, and it's a beautiful, big sound. And then we have the large Baldwin seven foot piano. It's uh, similar to the old SF10 and it's got the typical big Baldwin sound. So as you can see, the Baldwin pianos made today are some of the most exciting pianos on the market, whether they're uprights or grants. They give you that incredible big American sound, that deep sound, that full sound with long sustaining tones. And the price is incredible, especially when we compare it to pianos that don't come near the Baldwin in tone. So I invite you to come to one of our stores, check out these pianos for yourself, come play them, have one of our folks play them, and we look forward to seeing you really soon. And don't forget to like us, to comment, and subscribe to our channel. This is Glenn Tribe saying bye for now. Bye.